So heaven and earth, right now we coexist at the same time. There's a physical realm, there's a spiritual realm. Right now in heaven, here's a person, they, they write, uh, her name is Becky. My husband passed away a few years ago and sometimes people will tell my children or me he's looking down on us from heaven. While it's encouraging to think he seems us, this seems contradictory to scripture. Could you shed light on this? Are people who have gone on before us, believers in the Lord, looking down on us right now or looking down at us at any time? What do people in heaven know about what is happening here on earth? I think a good passage to turn to for that is Revelation chapter 6 where you have the martyrs in heaven, they've died, they've gone home to be with the Lord, right. they're with Jesus in the present heaven. You look in uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse 9, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. Now, here's what they do. This is what life is like for them in the present heaven. They called out in a loud voice, how long, sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood. Yeah. Well, first of all, clearly they remember their life on earth. And some people say, well, if we could remember anything of our life on earth and heaven, surely we couldn't remember the bad things. How much worse does it get than having been murdered? And they remember that they were murdered. But see, the key to heaven is not ignorance. It's perspective okay. on their lives. Yeah. So they remember that they, their, their lives on earth. They remember the bad things, actually, that even happened to them. But now they see them through redemptive eyes. And they're also aware that God has not yet brought judgment upon their persecutors. They're not asking, Lord, have you brought judgment? They're saying, when will you bring judgment? So they know that he hasn't yet. How do they know that? Because they're seen, at least to a degree at least, they're aware of what's going on down on earth. And then they're told that they had to wait a little longer. Remember they're saying, how long, O oh Lord? Wait a little longer. People say, well, is there time in heaven? Very clearly, there is here. And then he says, when the last martyr dies, that's basically when he's going to return. But you look at Luke chapter 15, where Jesus says there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels when a sinner repents. It doesn't say the angels rejoice. It could easily say the angels rejoice. It doesn't say that. Oh, I'm sure they do rejoice, but it's saying there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels when a sinner on earth rejoices. I mean, I mean repents. Yeah. So how do they know that the sinner on earth has repented. They, they have to know about it in order to rejoice. Who are those people in the presence of the angels? I think it's the people of God. It's the, it's the part of the body of Christ that's already gone home. They may be prayed for years for that person. They see that that person repented. There's rejoicing in the very presence of the angels where the people of God are when someone down on earth repents. So people in heaven are aware of what is happening on earth, as you've pointed out. Uh, one verse that's often quoted is, you know, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Let's run the race with endurance that's set before us. And some would interpret that as saying, well, these are the people that have just gone before us and have sort of set the example, which is true, of course. Right. Hebrews 11 precedes yep. Hebrews 12, and that's the hall of faith of all the great heroes of the Bible. But then again, surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, some wonder is that, you know, I don't know if it's heavenly grandstands, but certainly some form of... Um, viewing or watching from a heavenly perspective, you know, seeing it from that view. I think so. I, I think you could compare, and I do this in the heaven book, it's like uh, center court at Wimbledon. So you've got, uh, you've got this great tennis match that's going on, and then the people in the grandstands are watching it. Well, some of the people in the grandstands are people who they always kind of focus in on former champions and all of that. It's like people who have gone before who are now watching those who are participating. And I agree that in Hebrews 11, now you can't really prove the cloud of witnesses is, is, is exactly that they're all watching. But when you put it together with these other passages, it makes perfect sense. The focus of heaven is on the unfolding drama of redemption that is happening on planet Earth. Mm. And so Christ is uh, going to return and does it make sense to think that the people up in heaven are kind of like, oh, they're just oblivious to what's going on down on earth to which they're going to return with Christ, like it says in, in Thessalonians and other passages, and they're going to return with him and his plan for the redemption of planet earth will be culminated. Do they care? Are they interested in what's going on down in heaven, uh, down on earth? 
from the perspective of heaven? I think the answer is yes. I think they're cheering us on. And I don't think, by the way, that we, we should ever, there is no biblical basis, in fact, it's contradicted scripturally, that we should ever pray to the saints. We do not pray to the saints. There's one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, First yeah. Timothy tells us. But it's maybe a different question of whether the saints are praying for us. Yeah. I mean, they're there, they're, because even in, in this passage in Revelation 6, they're saying, how long before you bring judgment? Well, they're, they're almost praying for judgment yeah. to come down on these sinners. But meanwhile, if they're seeing the righteous people of God, are they upholding them in prayer? Well, prayer's talking to God. Will we talk to God less once we go to heaven than we do when we're here? I think we'll talk to Him more. 